Greetings and salutations, my homies. Yeah. This is your fellow brother in Christ letting you know that no matter what you're going through, no matter what trials or tribulations that God is is putting you through, don't worry about them. Um, here is a little example. Today, I had just lost my job. Just lost it. Um, my employer, he uh, gaslit me, and when I tried to explain to him, you know what was going on, he didn't want he didn't want to hear any of it, and he fired me. But I'm not gonna worry about it because Matthew six, verse twenty four to thirty three. It take no thought for your life. Hold on, where's my Bible at? I'm gonna go to Matthew. Hold on, let me let me read right here. Let me go to Matthew real quick. Here we go. Matthew six verse twenty five. Therefore I say unto you. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, and know yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the little. And why ye take ye thought? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe, ye, clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alright. Take therefore no thought for the for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the thing for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. I'm here to let you guys know that in life you will have trials, you will have tribulations if you are born again. You will the devil will, will will tempt some of you, but take heart, for Jesus Christ has overcome the world. John sixteen thirty three. Jesus assures us in this in the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And trials are a good thing. In Romans 5, Romans chapter 5, 3, 2, 5. All right. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. All right. And count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, or perseverance. All right. And let steadfastness have, yep, produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. All right. This is a, a tribulation that I'm currently I'm I'm gonna go through, but it's gonna breed a lot of patience. It's gonna breed better character, and I know that God is not going to abandon me. Neither will He abandon you. And this is not new. Um, this is you know I have you know I'm pretty sure all of us have lost jobs before, 
and you you know your first instinct as human beings we want to you know immediately like worry and 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 complain and you know completely lose our minds but that says there's no need to do that this could be a blessing in disguise and to my boss or well, ex-boss now if you are hearing this message i forgive you in the name of jesus i pray that your business prospers for as long as it can but i highly recommend that you repent of your greed I highly 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 recommend that because i'm not going to do a single thing but just understand that god is going to hold what happened today he he is going to remember especially if you don't repent if you do repent to all your fu to your future employees if you if you repent and don't try to sweat a limb out of their money or try to add fines or anything like that well but if you do not repent god will hold you accountable on judgment day and i'm looking i'm talking directly to you i'm not going to say your name but you know who you are. But to everyone else that is listening to this, and even to the person that I'm referring to, again, I'm not going to say their name because it's, but they know who they are. May you be blessed. May God keep you. And may we all meet in the airs together. God bless each and every one of you. And I pray you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay. Goodbye.